Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick little um, question and answer video on how you tell the difference between male and female Nepenthe flowers. So if you look in front of me here, we have a Sibuensis that's just coming out into spike. And this is my male plant. These are male flowers. And how you tell is the flower buds themselves, even though they're not open, I can tell they're male because they're very round. A bunch of perfect little balls on there and yeah it's going to be a big spike lots of pollen will be produced by this nepenthes are only male or female they're not both and what i will do is i will show you a female here we're gonna to have to climb up a little ladder so bear with me up 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 and let's see if i can bring you in for this shot here we're facing the sun so hopefully it's not too bright there we go so this is what a female flower looks like the female flowers are more of an oval shape. Let me see if I can bring this up just a little bit um, down to get rid of some backlighting here. So you can see that they're an oval shape as opposed to a perfectly round. These ones are starting to open, but that is what it looks like. And so when it's in a tight cluster, they're gonna be tight little ovals as opposed to little balls. And this is a female Ventrata. So the female Ventrata will take any kind of Nepenthe pollen so the Sibuensis could cross with the Ventrata, or it will take any other um, pollen. You just can't, it doesn't produce its own pollen, so you can't um, self-pollinate the plant. But anyways, there's just a quick shot of male and female Nepenthe flowers. And my misting system just turned on, so that's a good time for me to um, sign out. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.